There's too much shit out there to stress you out. This whole world is drug-infested, hate-infested, drug-infested world. Hate drugs. I heard the worst drug story. You know what my friend told me? You know what he's dealing with? His landlord is hooked on crack. That's, that's terrible. That's pressure. Your landlord's hooked on crack. That means you've got to have the rent. <laughs> he come around all the time. I got the rent. It's not even due yet. It's the 10th. Come on, I need it. <laughs> well, let me just get $20 of it now and then uh, just give me the rest of the end of the month. Every couple hours. Hey, look, I'm going to need some more of the rent. This building's falling apart. Things came up. Comes home early from a party. Landlord's in the crib going through his shit. What are you doing in my house? Ah! Where's the sink? I came to fix it. It's in the kitchen. I thought it was in the drawer. I'll fix it tomorrow when I come for the rent. You know what I hate about drugs? I hate when like people my age and older get hooked on crack. I hate that shit. You're too, you're too old to be experimenting with the drugs at a certain point. You should be past that. You ain't doing it by a certain point. You just miss it. <laughs> drugs are really for old people anyway. You 75, you've earned the right. Shit, I'm, if I was 75, I'd do coke, heroin, everything. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> I'd be walking down the street, they'd be like, boy, that old man is tripping. Can't do everything. Maybe weed. If you're gonna do something, do a little weed. Smokes, weed, weed's not as bad as everything else. So weed is a background substance. You know what I mean, you can smoke some herb and still function. And you ain't crisp, but you'll function. Nothing higher than weed, though. I made that mistake one time. I, I was at a party, some guy gave me some shit. He's like, here, man, take this. It's fucking mushrooms. I took it. I forgot all about it, you know. Then a couple days later, I found that shit in my pocket. I'm thinking, why not? Because I'm thinking it's like weed, some background shit. I planned my whole day out like it was weed. <laughs> I'll chew this shit up. Then I'll go to the barbershop, get my hair cut, and then I'll see a movie. chewed it up. So far, so good. <laughs> then I was in a barber shop like an hour later. And it's funny because I was just thinking to myself, I was like, ooh, this stuff sucks. <laughs> Tastes like an athlete's foot. I feel sick, but I'm not really high. <laughs> then I looked in the mirror. I saw the barber's reflection, man. It looked like, it looked like a big penis was cutting my hair. I freaked out. I started talking to myself, Dave, calm down. You're on drugs. This is what drugs do. Okay, you know that there is no way that a penis can cut hair. <laughs> but I started freaking out, man. I just couldn't take it anymore. I jumped out the chair, half my hair was cut. I didn't care. I, I didn't. I just gave a bob a handful of money. It was weird. The balls opened up. Anyway, I... <laughs> I ran home, man. I ran home as fast as I could. It's tripping. It's tripping. I looked at the clock. It was 2.42. I was like, Damn! 242. I gotta sober up. I had never been this high this early. I took a shower. I was still high. I said maybe music will do the trick. I listened to every CD I had. I was still high. Exercise. That's what I'll do. I ran around the block four times. Still high. Took a nap, woke up, fucked up. 
I looked at the clock, it was 2.43. I said, God, <laughs> damn.